In Photoshop, we will always use the Clone Stamp tool to fix images. Let's understand the principle of this tool first. Select Clone Stamp tool on the menu or use the shortcut S. You can find that this tool does not work by only clicking around. You need to set your brush a little bit. Then hold the Option or Alt key and click on an area to define a source point first. Then click on anywhere else to clone. Let's try again. Hold down the Option or Alt key, click to define a source point, and then click somewhere again to clone. This simple tool is always used in the following two situations. 1. To clone an object. For example, first hold the Option or Alt key, click on this red car as a source point, and then click to clone one more red car on the road. But to clone this black car, you will find that the car is a little too small due to perspective view. You can open the Clone Source panel and increase the size of the clone here, which will make the result more realistic. Also in the Clone Source panel, we can select the horizontal mirroring and then use the Clone Stamp tool to fix the problem of this image. 2. You can also use the Clone Stamp tool to remove objects. Take this picture as an example if you want to remove this number 2. First hold the Option or Alt key and click the area next to it. Then move the mouse over the number 2, align it with the horizontal stripes on the garage, and then click and apply the clone to cover the number 2. You can even use the Clone Stamp tool to cover this person. Another tip here. Clone Stamp tool can be used not only on the current file. You can also hold the Option or Alt key to define a source point in one file, and then use the Clone Stamp tool in another file. That's for today's video. Thanks for watching. In this series of videos, we will go through everything in Photoshop in a most simple and clear way. And also try our best to answer everything in the comment to help. Please consider hitting the like button or subscribe to support this channel.